Now kids, let's understand few more members of our solar system. Like one of them is something called as asteroid. There is an asteroid belt. You must have heard that, right? Let's understand where is it. There is a large gap between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. You can see that this is Jupiter, right? And between Mars and Jupiter, there is a gap. Now kids, remember, what are asteroids? Asteroids are small remnants of heavenly bodies that are made up of rock which revolve in this gap. So you can see all the asteroids, they revolve in the gap between Mars and Jupiter. There are some facts about this asteroid. You know what? There are how many asteroids? More than 3,000 asteroids have been detected so far. And out of that, one of the biggest asteroids that we know is Ceres. Now kids, coming to how small they are, they can only be viewed with the help of telescope. You cannot see with the help of naked eyes. Now kids, let's understand the next member of our solar system that are comets. What are comets? They are heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun in a highly elliptical orbit called comets. There are some facts about comets. That is, they are very small sized celestial bodies and become visible from the earth only when they come very close to the sun. Let's understand this, how they revolve. So we have already studied they revolve in an elliptical orbit. The blue color orbit that you can see the elliptical path, it is the path of comet. Let's understand comet in detail. There is a bright sphere, something like this, and that is called as the head of the comet. The next, it has tail. So comet has two parts, the head of the comet and the tail of the comet. Now when this comet starts revolving, let's see what happens. The length of the tail of the comet grows in size as it approaches the sun. So when a comet is near the sun, the tail size goes on increasing because what happens there is comet evaporates. When it evaporates, that time the tail becomes bigger and bigger. Now, when it is going away from the sun, again what you notice is the tail disappears again when the comet moves away from the sun. So remember, when comet comes near to the sun, the tail increases in size. As it goes away from the sun, the tail will again go on decreasing. One of the important thing, that is the tail of the comet is always directed away from the sun. So remember, the tail is always directed opposite to the sun. Now, out of all the comets, the one of the famous comets that we know is Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet is the most famous among all the comets and it was first recorded over 2000 years ago. It orbits the sun every 76 years. Now kids, this Halley's Comet was last seen in the year 1986 and next it is expected in the year 2062. Coming to the next member of our solar system that is meteors and meteorites. Let's understand what are meteors and meteorites in detail. Coming to meteors, what are meteors? Meteors are very small stone like objects that are revolving around the sun. Now this meteors kids, when this celestial body come near the earth, the earth pulls the body towards itself. When earth pulls it towards itself, what happens is they enter the earth's atmosphere. Now as it falls, Friction with the constraints of the atmosphere causes its temperature to rise and because of that it begins to glow and this is called as a meteor. Kids, a meteor it traces a bright line in the sky while falling referred to as falling star. You must have heard something called as shooting star or we call it as tuta tara. They are none other than that is something called as meteors. So remember, how is meteor formed? That is whenever object come close to the earth's atmosphere, the atmosphere will pull it towards itself and because of which there is friction and because of the friction, the object begins to glow. And when it is falling down, you feel that as shooting star. Coming to meteorites, now what are meteorites? Imagine this meteors entering the earth's atmosphere and if they are able to reach till the earth's surface, then what will happen? Let's see the reason. That is nothing but they are meteorites. Some meteors are so large that a part of them reaches the surface of the earth before they get evaporated completely. These are called as meteorites. Now, after hitting the earth's surface, what happens? If they hit the earth's surface, you see something like this. These are craters. So they form big craters. And after falling, we can study these meteorites. They are very important. Meteoroids, they help scientists in investigating the nature of the material from which our solar system was formed. Coming to some of the belief that people think about meteors and meteorites, we are told many superstitious beliefs related to seeing a comet or falling star. You must have heard, you know, if you ask a wish to the Tutta Tara, your wish will get fulfilled. But kids, remember, 
they are all just blind belief of people. Actually, they are astronomical phenomena. We know now, right? We have studied the reason behind this. There is nothing ominous or evil about these events. We must not hold such belief ourselves because you being a science student, you should not believe in all these things. In fact, we should try to explain these events scientifically and help dispel the blind belief. So they are the different components of our solar system.